super special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yoshiga Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charm, Sam Medina, and Belene Overlord for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Thinless Dry Apocalypse Now mod. So yeah, last episode was kind of fun. I found a super secret bunker, like a vending machine bunker, which is really awesome. Um, I'm actually thinking of perhaps using that as like a base spot, like building my base right on top of it. Because think about it, anytime you want to buy something or some, like for example, ammo, explosives, whatever, it's like having the trader for multiple things right underneath your feet. Um, obviously that's going to be a little bit more in the future because at the moment, we don't even have enough resources for us at this stage. But I want to see, we need to just explore a lot and see if we can't find another one of those just lying about. Uh, what I do want to do actually is see on the map exactly what it looks like and then see if we haven't already passed one on the map without realizing it. That's the easiest way to see if you or to tell if you've actually seen something yet or not. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all the stuff at the base and then in the morning I should actually go and just loot all the pure eyes from one corner going through. Um, yeah, we want to make sure we, uh, we clear all the places. I'm going to try and just do melee. But I'm going to need a ton of coffee and stuff for that. Because if we can get resources and stuff just from looting, then the Horde base or the Horde Knight shouldn't be as bad. What I'm actually worried about this stage is the fact that we don't have resources to ready ourselves for Horde Knight. So I might just have to take over, like, for example, this thing in front of us. What is this? Uh, gaming Den. Take over a PR like that and just hide during the night. That's the simplest thing for us to do at the moment. Otherwise, I don't know how else I'm going to do this at the moment. We need to survive. Okay, I picked that up. I need to make a simpler way for myself to get in. And that off. I don't think the light actually does anything. Uh, someone said uh, there was uh, another YouTuber that tested whether having the lights on and off uh, does anything, if there is any difference. And apparently there was no difference at all. But sometimes it depends on the mod. Because, I mean, it's supposed to be that if there's light, the zombies see you. So if you are shining the light, technically the zombies should see you. Okay, auto miner, we're going to put you next to your friend. Um, I really wanted to place this one as soon as this one's ready to loot. Because then we can actually make sure they're both in sync. I think I'm going to try and do that. Uh, I want to try and see if I can't get them both in sync like that. I'm going to test something quickly. We are at the moment... Uh, right there, by this thing, no? By my shotgun. That's how much space we have on us right now. If I put this on, it should be there. Yes. So this thing doesn't have any extra storage pockets like in Darkness Falls. In Darkness Falls, these overalls actually give you extra space. Um, okay, where did those pants just go? Over here. Okay, we have the same ones on, nice. So I'm just gonna put these in there then. It doesn't matter whether they died or not, but I mean, it's easier to get that out of the way. Take that, just for some fatigue. Uh, you need to make sure that you never get fatigued in this game. I'm a shredder. This only goes on guns, right? Right? It says it can be stalled in ranged guns. A shotgun is also, in my opinion, a ranged gun. Oh, but we also got the AK. Uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. So in the AK, we actually have another mod we can put. Where did I put the radiation mod? I think I put it in the pistol. So if I do this, the flame mod is on my shotgun right now. During a horde night, I need to put the flame mod from my shotgun. Oh, that can also go in there. Nice. Uh, the flame mod from my shotgun, I should actually also put on there. Oh. Magazine size. Yeah, this is actually going to come in handy during a horde night. But for now, let's just make sure this gun is the most OP one. Um, This just does more damage to animal. So technically, you can put that on this one. It already is there. For this, I just want to make sure it has the best damage stuff on. So obviously, we can actually put the uh, magazine extender or this thing that extends the range. But I actually want to put this fire mod on there. Because the more you shoot, the more zombies get caught alight and the more they stop regening. And that's the goal, right? Uh, scrap. Scrap. This one, we could sell, but let's just scrap it. I need some space right now. Okay, so we're going to put our weapons away for now. Except the shotgun, that's mine. Thank you. Um, this feels like it should go the other way around. Okay, and then we need to put the gun away, and there's no other thing over here. Oh yeah, there's weapon parts. I like the fact that I can just click a button and everything just goes in there where it's supposed to be. And this is better than the one we're wearing right now. There's one less space for a mod. And, oh wait, yeah, there was another mod. Oh nice, nice, yes, 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 yes. 
that's more protection for us now and we already didn't have that much slot used so that's good that's fine boom all of them are on there now we can just put that on and then we can put the mods away and clothing away okay so what we need to do is in the morning we just need to go and loot as much stuff as is humanly possible right now um that's the only way we're gonna really get a ton of uh secret stashes and stuff like that um i do need to start work on my horde base but i have no idea if we have enough i don't think we have enough resources we could turn the cobble into uh blocks and then we can turn this into blocks as well but i don't think there's gonna be enough for a horde base um do we have any cement we only have sand and stone no real cement unfortunately wait what do we get from we're supposed to have cement aren't we what do we get from the cement palace oh yeah this that's what cement looks like okay cool i need a mixer if i can make myself some more concrete and oh that's locked under advanced engineering and cement mixer schematic oh what i need to do still is i need to go and make books for these you increase these by reading books so for example i'm gonna need minus 69 mother load all that stuff to be higher and i need treasure hunter so i need to make a book for the minor class lucky looter fast looter let's go for lucky oh daring adventurer is nice what does this require scavenger class level 10 so you have to make 10 books but by then you get like double you get three quest rewards nice so he has two quest rewards and this is only level six that's doable okay so um how do you make the class books again I think with this right i know it's with one of these craft schematics and book volumes class books okay so it's the blue one okay so we said that's gonna be i just need to see under which class that falls again so if we want to go for daring adventure that is scavenger class scavenger class scavenger class boom okay i think i'm only gonna uh, make for this now we need way more of these blue notes so if i see blue notes we grab them instantly because we're definitely gonna need them as much as possible but if i can make myself a cement mixer as well oh wait uh mixer is under what advanced engineering and advanced engineering is under what engineer cement mixer oh i, have to put I should actually go down and kill some zombies I need to put points into this so I can make that cement mixer. I just wasted a point. Okay. Um, at least you don't need to go any higher than that, but still. We need four more aloe leaves, guys. Just four more. Okay, that's food, that's seeds. Oh! Carrot seeds. Which means if I do this, we just completed the farmer. Nice. Unfortunately, no. now I need to go and drop all of this. Let me just do this. Uh, that's fire that's explosives that's mine thank you drinks need to go in the own box coins need to go in the own box there's the only problem with dumping all like that i didn't even realize that we had the seeds that is awesome okay meds go in the own box as well meds drinks bombing stage that's drinks um drinks and boom okay i think i might have accidentally left something else there but for now that's fine we just got Okay, let's just see. Oh yeah, we're gonna get notes as well, I think. Uh, where was that? Farmer. No, it's still a quest that we have to do for Farmer. What do we need to do? Gather iron hoe. Place cabbage seeds, cuc cucumber seeds, strawberry seeds, carrot seeds, and tomato seeds. Uh, what I think we can actually do then is we can make dirt up here. I'm gonna make about 10 so I know I have enough um that was the scavenger right scavenger class so we can put that at the back scavenger that's gonna okay we can actually scrap that at the back so all the schematics we can actually uh, find right now that we already know we need to scrap immediately do we have an iron hoe oh yeah we do nice now we just have to plant those seeds so which seeds are they again because i already forgot okay so we need strawberry seeds you just do this every time i see a seed i'm just gonna grab the seed i don't know if i'm uh, grabbing the right seeds but hey seed that is cucumber seeds pumpkin seeds it just says place i'm gonna take all the seeds of here and then see which ones i have in my hand coffee beans no that's not it and then yeah that should be it okay now all we do is we place it upstairs and we should be good to go 
So I want to place it in such a spot that we don't have to worry about this thing caving in. So we could actually put it right here on the edges, perhaps. I don't think you need water or anything. It doesn't say that you need water. I mean, obviously you might need water to grow crops, but they just say place it. They don't say grow it. No? Wait, do I not need to go and do that? Okay, so if I take tomato seeds, place one. Uh, cucumber seeds, just need to place one. Strawberry seeds, place one. Okay, carrot seeds and cabbage. Carrot seeds are where? Cabbage, cabbage, where's cabbage? Cabbage seeds, and then carrot seeds. Okay, farmer class done. Get a potato, get the goldenrod flower, get the chrysanthemum. Please tell me we have all those potatoes. So I want to get these quests behind me, these classes. You actually get rewards for completing the classes as well. Okay, potatoes, do we have five? Yes. Okay, gather goldenrod. It's supposed to be under drinks over here. So goldenrod and chrysanthemum. I could have sworn I just grabbed, but I didn't. Oh, we might not have enough chrysanthemum. Yeah, we only have five. Oh, but yeah, this is it. Oh, that's the seed. We need the actual chrysanthemums. Ah, uh, damn. I haven't been picking those up, I think. Oh, I do. I had. Yeah. Okay, gather a campfire. Place campfire. I can actually do this then. So gather campfire. It's nice that it says gather, not craft. I love quests like that. Because then you don't have to worry about being in the window, like for example in the workbench, when you're crafting stuff. Now the baked potato. Okay, let me just do this quickly. It says four baked potato. Uh goldenrod tea we have, and then I just need to make a red tea. No, I can actually make goldenrod. Uh, we're gonna need it anyway, so I'll make ten of that. Why not? And it says it says gather, not craft. You don't have to be in the window to, uh, for when it finishes. Now we can put the rest of the seeds away as well, just to save some space over here. I need to make sure we don't have too much stuff on us by the time we move here. Okay, this one we can actually read. Why can't we read that? Oh, it must be read from your tool belt. So as you guys can see over here, that's a scavenger, right? Now it's two out of three. Do it again. Now it's three out of ten. Uh, actually, it's three out of three. It's three out of ten. Now it's four out of ten. We need to do two more so we can reach level six. And as soon as we have level six, we'll be able to go and get Daring Adventurer all the way. That's my goal right now. That and first off, cement mixer. Because I just know I'm going to forget about the cement mixer. Okay, do that. Uh, that's all drinks. That's all meds. Okay, we need to make sure we are full on food and water before we leave over here. I'm constantly making sure that I grab stuff, but sometimes I am such an airhead, I forget immediately when I'm doing something. It's weird how healing is instant, but eating food is just such a slow process. Okay, I can actually drink one of these. Uh, we can put the thing away, and then put the tools away. Okay. Boom, boom. And voila, we just got 66 notes. It says now we have to read the farmer book, but um, yeah, we already have it. Wait, um, farmer, 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 there you go. Yeah, we need to read the book, but I already made it early, so I don't have to waste these points, which means I can make another scavenger class for this. The sooner we get double rewards from trader quests, the better. Although, like I said, we're not going to be focusing solely on that. Although it would be cool to focus on that. Nice. Okay, that's that was good. That was a nice one. And then coffee I want to keep on me. This we do not need on us, and we can do this. Technically the coffee needs to be over here, but it's not always that easy keeping that stuff on you. Okay, so the nice thing is as soon as you do all the quests for that class, you get the rewards for the class, like in this case it was a food bundle, and you get enough notes to make yourself the book. But I preemptively made all the books for the classes, so yay! <laughs> Okay, uh, this thing mustn't hook any further. Oh wait, still busy with water. 2 minutes 20. Or 2 minutes 10. That should be enough for now. I want to make sure we have enough goldenrod because that's the thing that's going to cure the sentry. 
Um, so I think what I might also do is perhaps do this. I have the water that cures my poo poo stains and stuff over there. Okay, do this. Nice. This goes over here. Scavenger cards are now 5 out of 10. Yes. As soon as that reaches 6 out of 10, we can actually go over here and just invest in until there. That's a big jump though. I mean, it's obviously 3 rewards from the trader, which is awesome. But still, it's a massive jump. Okay, there's enough repair kits for me to actually do this. This one doesn't really need repairs, although it did help me kill 2 wolves on the way to the other site. Okay, uh, we're done with this. What else do we need? Just the aloe for the medic class. And then all the classes are done. Nice. Literally just need four more aloe, but I'm just not lucky enough for that. I wonder, we should probably start with like a corner. Like for example, over here and then move up and then move down. I think that's going to be the best. We just did that pure eye. So we have to aim for this one now. I mean, obviously there's going to be fetch quests and stuff. I think as soon as we can do like three rewards or two rewards even. Then we'll go and see if we can't do a few quests. But now I'm going to focus solely on just getting your eyes done and getting some rewards for it. Oh no, not rewards, uh, final stashes. My aim right now is to get as many secret stashes and final stashes as possible. Look at the amount of zombies walking around. And they're all mostly radiated. I wonder if this was a wandering horde. With the amount of zombies over here, it almost looks like one. Okay, so we need to turn around. Oh crap, uh, where did I put my bike? Wrong thing not to have- Oh, you know what? But we do need to level up. So, if I just do this... To make sure I don't die. Oh, I thought you were bleeding out, but you weren't. I just need to make sure that I'm constantly doing damage so they don't heal themselves. This is a really easy way to level up. Just make sure you kill as many zombies as possible. But now we don't have to worry about space, so let's just keep this on us so we can just loot. I think that's a cop over there. Yep, there's a cop. Yeah, I want to do this, this, this. Oh crap. Oh, there's zombies behind me. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. I need to kill that cop though. That's the first thing I need to do right now. The cop's the only one that can seriously really hurt me right now. Oh, look how fast these zombies are. Damn, okay, that was a mistake. This might have been a mistake. And my bike is nowhere on me right now, so this was definitely a mistake. What I need to do is stack on top of something, but that cop is gonna get me. Okay, we just need to run, just need to run, just need to run. If I can get to an open spot over here. Okay, as long as we don't get attacked by like wolves and stuff from behind, we should be fine. I need to actually grab my XP glasses. If I can get a ton of XP for killing these zombies right now, that's gonna be awesome. I think I have a little bit of skill inside the run and gun, so I don't have to worry too much. Oh, I actually ducked on uh, like in real life just now. And I saw that cop vomit. Okay, what I need to do is go kill that cop. This is radiated, I need to be careful. The cop's gonna explode. Oh, you need to be careful of vomit. That is not a killer chicken, right? No. Okay, look at all the corpses I'm making over here now. Hello, hello, hello. There's zombies all over. Damn. I just have to be careful of that vomit from the cop because that's the only thing that can really kill me right now. Okay, I need to try and do a little bit more melee then. There's another cop. Yep, hello. I actually put some grenades on me. Some explosives right now might actually help out. I swear, if I accidentally run into the vomit, I'm going to be mad at myself. Okay, that just died. Nice, nice, nice. I need to be careful of new zombies popping up right now. Okay, these zombies are going to walk through the fire. That's good. The 
fire is actually doing damage. It's really good. Nice. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's too many cops right now. Come on. Okay, did I just do that? That's my heart's racing. The amount of zombies I just had to kill. Okay, you can jump over here. But he's not gonna jump, is he? Yep, he's clever. That was really clever just now. Just because the prop actually opened it up for him. Okay, before I die, let's just get out of here. Okay, I can't believe I just survived that. Oh, I was actually pulling further and further away from the mic just now because of stress. Okay, we need way more space over here, so some of this needs to go up top. I think, since we're not really using the range much, we can put that up here. And then we can take some of these explosives and put them downstairs. So, okay, the fire obviously needs to be on us. And then this one we don't really use until we really need like a ranged attack. So I wonder if I shouldn't do this. And at least we have some explosives to work with over here. Okay. Can't believe oh, we actually survived that just now. That's, that was really good. Now we just need to go to that quest mark on the map. On a quest marker to the way, a waypoint. But yeah, we just need to level up as much as possible. You know what? I should probably do quickly. At least the healing is instant, as you guys can see. I wish the food and stuff was also instant instead of having to wait, but okay. Okay. That should be enough health for now. Let's go. I want to loot all of these pure eyes. You just know there's going to be some good... I want to loot this one. But in Darkness Falls, we already have demonic zombies. In that pure eyes. So I can't do that in Darkness Falls. Even said the whole goal of that series is going to be to just clear all the pure eyes in town and now it's a little bit difficult <laughs> to say the least it's going to be very very difficult is it? oh no 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 i didn't see the fencing just until it's almost too late what i want to do is check for some aloe i just need four more i think the best place is to, uh, to see some aloe find aloe right now is going to be like on pure eyes like this there's definitely some aloe in there i think but I also know this POI. There's like a secret stat or a hidden thing in the water over there. But there's basically nothing down there. You break through that hatch door and then there's nothing inside. It's a major, major letdown. Come on, I just need four more aloe and then we can finish that class too. But I can finally say that's done. That's going to help us so much. It's going to be a game changer. Oh, nice. A, night, a book that we don't have yet. Night Stalker, nice. The more schematics we can scrap. Large storage box, nice. Where am I hearing those footsteps from? Over there. <laughs> I was about to say, damn, but he was hidden behind. But yeah, the more schematics we know, the better. Uh, because then we can scrap them, but obviously we do need, we, we want to not know them. So we can read more. I think this place is going to be a nightmare to clear. It's huge. And usually if your eyes this huge, it's going to be really, really tough on the inside. Wait, there's sleepers on the outside of you, only be careful of that. I could easily kill them by just throwing a Molotov in there. Nice. Okay, now, do we have skill points? Yes. Uh, Mixer. No. Uh, no, what was it again? Engineering? Uh, no. Engineer. This one. Now we can make ourselves a cement mixer. I need to move before he explodes that. Because suck if I'm up there and all of a sudden you just hear BOOM. Come on. There's definitely aloe all over the place, but since it looks so close to grass, it's really, really easy to miss. You know what, there's bound- I'm just gonna go through here. There's bound to be some in here. Let's just close that just in case, but I think there's a wolf in here usually. Uh, okay, mini boar. You know what? Nothing personal. I need the meat, and then I can rest assured that you're not gonna kill me. I do need to be careful of Grace, though. I haven't seen a mini Grace in a really long time. That actually bothers me because those things are so OP and fast. But that's just luck we have, right? Uh, we actually get the mini Grace when we don't have the weapons to kill her. And then when we do have weapons to actually kill it now, we don't find it. Come on, there's bound to be a some... Oh, Jaeger. Nice. Okay, you are a giant boar. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay, a little bit more dangerous than I thought. Is that a bunny? No, that's just another ball. Oh, I was about to say, where's a, every time I hear a zombie, I don't know where they're coming from. That's why I'm frantically looking around just to make sure that I'm not getting charged from all sides or something. Okay, but yeah, guys, we need three more aloe. Just three more. And you know it's going to be like under trees and just out in the open and stuff. That's also the problem of making videos. Um, YouTubers uh, sometimes experience uh, selective viewing. I, I don't know what it's exactly called again. But basically, because you're busy with something, like for example in Darkest Falls, where I died from like fire, I wasn't even, I, I didn't even notice that I was busy dying because I, no, not from fire, from hunger. I was busy dying from hunger, zero health, um, losing health like crazy, and I didn't even realize it because I was so focused on the zombies. It's the same when you're looking for something over here, you're so focused on talking and doing stuff that you don't even realize you've passed what you needed. We just need three more aloe. Okay, so this place looks huge. I'm gonna have some fun over here. Although I don't know how, how far we're gonna get before we are screwed. Wait, where do I need to go? Things the other side is the front. I need to be careful, I know there's gonna be dogs and soldiers and stuff here. Apparently someone also said, man, he, hate, he hates the snakes. So I'm guessing the anacondas and stuff from previous mods are in this one as well. The giant snakes. I remember the giant snakes in a few uh, playthroughs and I hated those things as well. They're so damn fast and it's so hard. As big as they are, it's hard to hit them. I'm just still looking for some aloe while we... Uh... Okay, unfortunately no. I'm guessing you go into the front, so let's just please see if there's anything in the cars. Um, if I'm lucky, we can actually get ourselves a drone. What is this? Baton blocks. So I'm guessing that's going to be like a ton of um, building supplies and stuff in here. But I am going to need some space. I'm going to have to put some stuff on my vehicle. Oh, is that a wolf or a dog? I think that's a wolf. But it looks like part of the spawn, so let's just do this. Then this, and that's when we use something like this. Now after you use it, you can just put it back. And then what did I have over here? <laughs> I can't remember what I had in the slot. I don't think there was anything in that slot, was there? Oh, frames. Wait, and now I'm confused. Hello, sneaky, sneaky. You know, I don't mind waking the zombies up. It's not a quest or anything. Let's just use the gun. If they come for us, that's going to be even better because then we can clear them out. Nice, give me my arrow back. I keep forgetting they can actually take arrows back in this mod. In Darkness Falls, you're not able to pick those up at all. So after a while, you have to make more and more and more. If I can wake all of these zombies up and then make them come to me, it's going to be easier to clear these rooms. Look at this. There's a zombie right there. Ah, uh, if we do this, let me do this. I'm not playing with Feral Sense on, so we don't have to worry too much. Any problem is we don't get our arrows back. Oh, crap. Okay, and then spear time. Come on, right here. Right here. I have a spear. You have nothing. As long as there's no cop vomiting at me right now, I should be fine. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wrong glasses on, but hey, it's at, least, at least it's something. And he's regening himself, damn it. Problem is, I need to keep on power attacking, otherwise they keep on regening. By the time he gets back, I have to do another power attack where I just needed to do a left thing. Okay, so this run's done. It's the same POI, or the same room, I mean. I'm guessing there's going to be zombies near as well. Yep, that is a zombie right there. Hello? I heard something on that side as well. Come on, give it back, give it back. I should probably put something here for you so you can jump up easier, right? Uh, let's do this. 
Then do this. Yeah, now you should be able to come to me. There you go. And I can take my arrow back from me. Nice. Only problem is going to be the caller because he can hit through the window without getting particularly close. See, he can hit you through, but we can do the same. Okay. Get my arrow back. Thank you. Okay, now we can go inside a bit. Oh, hello. Just as I said that. Okay, that looks like just a normal zombie, right? And there's a tourist right there, but that's the thing I want. The hell? What's attacking me right now? Oh, the chicken's attacking me. Damn it. Get a chicken time. Okay, um, chicken, bye bye. Yeah, you're gonna die from fire. <laughs> yeah, be careful that car doesn't explode on me. Okay, uh, but yeah, the chicken has major reach. It's the first time in a really long time. Oh, look at his shadow. That looks intimidating. Damn. That's the first time in a really, really long time I've actually seen a chicken. Yeah, I wonder if I shouldn't just quickly get this as well. I mean, they're right here, right? I can't hurt. I need to make sure they actually catch them. Yeah, there you go. They have to bleed and they have to catch them in fire. That way you know you're doing an amazing amount of damage. Feral crawler. Uh, they should technically be running at me when they're feral. It doesn't make sense. Even though he is obviously crawling, if he's feral, he's supposed to be way, way faster, right? Okay, we need to put a few things on the bike and then go inside. I think we'll do that next episode. So next episode, we're going to do this whole PR over here and then start moving up. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, steps, and feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some Apocalypse Now fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.